Hi, y'all. Good afternoon. It's Janie, your acrylic paint pouring girl, coming to you on this beautiful day from Jay Varisco Art Studio. So today we're going to do a beautiful 16 by 16 painting. And I got this canvas. It's a Blick canvas, B-L-I-C-K. And you can get this online from Blick Direct. So that's the canvas we're gonna pour today. What colors are we gonna use today? Well, we're gonna use Craftsmart Teal C. We're gonna use Arteza Pearl Sea Green. We're gonna use Arteza Pearl Marmalade. This is a new one for me. I'm gonna use a lot of this one. We're gonna use Arteza Pistachio Green. It's a soft color. Then we're gonna use Deco Art Metallic Teal. These paints are all mixed with Floetrol, no silicone. We're gonna then use Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. That's gonna be our pillow that we're gonna pour on. And then we're gonna use Craft Smart Black. We're gonna use it in the painting and we're gonna use it as our flow extender. So today, I'm going to use a 16 ounce clear measuring cup. And we are going to layer and dirty cup fill this measuring cup, okay? So I'm just gonna start. And I'm gonna start by pouring, let me think about this, just a touch of gold. Not much, just a touch. Okay. Now, I told you I was gonna layer and I was gonna dirty cup. So layering is when you pour paint in just so it layers off the top of the previous paint. Pouring, dirty cupping it, is pouring from up high and letting the paint sink into the other paint. So now we're gonna layer. I'm just gonna alternate. Now we're gonna layer. I wanna use a lot of that marmalade. And now we're gonna pour from up high. And now we're gonna layer. And I am gonna use a little black in this for some contrast. But what I wanna do is I wanna layer the black and I'm gonna turn it on this side of the cup. Oh, well, we kind of got a layer and a uh, dirty pour out of that one. Okay, so we're gonna repeat that process. And this one I'm gonna do from up. I'm gonna do it opposite now. And now I'm gonna layer this, not too much, because I really want a lot of this color in it. That's our pearl marmalade. We'll do some pistachio and we'll finish it off with the teal. All right, so when I do a painting, I pour it on a pillow of paint. So we're gonna take our 24 karat gold and we're gonna pour it as close to the middle of this as we can. Boom, all right? Now, how am I going to pour this on this? Well, I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna shake it, I'm gonna come from high, I'm gonna come from low. If I shake it, I get a lot of design. That's turning it, that's more like a ring pour, what I'm doing right here. If I shake it, I get kind of some straightness. If I shake it like this, I get waves like peppermint candy. And I'm gonna move it as I pour. I'm gonna move it around to create some effects. I love this shaking it. Look at that, it 
It's like wings. Y'all, I'm kind of impressed with myself. I have a lot of paint here, way more than I probably need for this canvas, but I'm gonna let it pour. We'll pour off what we don't need. Here comes some of the black. And I'm just bringing it around the canvas. Again, I don't have any rhyme or reason. I'm just making a painting. Now this, I'm gonna let it kind of circle here. I got some gold coming out now. I kind of don't wanna go in that other direction. So I'm gonna stop it. Wow, that's interesting. And I still have a little bit of paint here, so I'm gonna pour just a little circle here. And that way I'm not wasting paint. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna stop it. So I kinda got two circles on the end. Take my little skewer stick and I just make that little circle look a little neater. Pretty awesome. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it go down a little bit to get some evenness. I love that we can see the pearl marmalade in this one. Now, I'm gonna surround it with a flow extender. And what that does is it keeps the majority of my paints on the painting and I don't pour it all off. I'll pour some of it off. So we're gonna use our black as our flow extender. And I'm just gonna start. All right, guys, now we're gonna torch. All of my paints are strictly the paints mixed with flow trawl. I am not using any silicone in this painting. The reason I torch is to get air bubbles out. And then we'll torch again to get more air bubbles out. So we're gonna start out and I'm just gonna move this down towards you. And I'm gonna go to your left, my right. This will be up soon on my Facebook page and my YouTube page. But I don't want to lose that wing. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it and I want to bring it down some. I wanted to see if I could open that up. Let me go to that corner on the bottom right. And I'm gonna do this as slow as I can because I really like there we go. I think we have coverage there. All right, let's turn this again. We have a lot of paint on this canvas. And we're gonna pull it down to the right. I'm watching it as I pour because things like this that I love, I don't wanna lose all that. So I'm gonna go really slow and just when it touches that corner, I'm gonna pull it back. Oh, I'm gonna lose that little part. It's gonna bum me out. Okay, right there. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna bring it back down. And I'm gonna go to this corner down here on the right. I'm okay kinda if I lose that, it won't bother me. I like what's going on in the middle of the painting. Here we go. I love all this. So, let me see what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna take it a little bit this way. It's really a beautiful painting. I love that the pearl marmalade is really showing up in this. And it's showing up well. So this is us stretching out that paint. And then we will, we will turn it around. 
and we will bring it back. Let's bring it back this way some. And down a hair. Take a look at this. Yeah, I'm really liking the, the way it spreads out and the way it comes up. I may wanna make some of this or this go away, open this up a little bit more, maybe even some of that. As you paint, you really have to pay attention and watch where is the paint going, where is the paint moving, is the paint heavier on one side of the canvas than the other, and it will help you to know where to tilt that paint without losing the parts you like. I know y'all are probably going, oh my God, she's gonna lose it. No, we're gonna be okay. I just wanna get that touch of black off right there. All right, now I'm going to turn it back around. We're paint heavy on this side. So I need to get it moving back down. Sorry about the glare, but I must be able to see. And that requires light above me. Let me turn this this way and y'all tell me, do y'all like that? I think that's really cool. That's different than anything I've ever done. Love the paints, love the colors. I actually love that we have this circle here and yet I'll call it feathering that we have going on here. It's pretty pretty. Tap my corners just a hair. You always want your corners looking good. Most of the times these paintings are not framed. Some are, some aren't. So. So this is called a live edge where the painting drips over the edges. So you wanna make sure your edges are nice and pretty. All right, I think we're not gonna move it anymore. Let me, let me think if I wanna torch this again. So if I torch it, I will get some cells to pop up. I will get some pearls to pop up kind of like these little circles you see in the middle. If I don't torch it, it'll stay quite like that. But torching it also helps to get the air bubbles out. So I'm gonna torch it just a hair and we'll see what happens. And that, my friends, is a done painting. This is a 16 by 16 acrylic paint pour layered and dirty cup. We'll say shaken and stirred. <laughs> so I did several pour techniques in here, including a ring pour. I did a shaken pour. And I guess you could say I did a ribbon pour. So I just want you to see the interior of this. Beauty. This painting will be for sale. We'll post a better picture of it tomorrow on our Facebook and Instagram pages. So thank y'all for watching. Again, this is Janie with J. Garisco Art. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Please follow me and subscribe. I will have all the paints and all the techniques and all the accessories listed in the description of the video.
Thank y'all so much. Go out and make it a great day.